What up everyone, it's the one and only Evil Collector, back at you with another action figure review. Today's review is with the Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man The Animated Series, Cell Shaded. And yes, I was finally able to pick them up and find them at my Walmart. They had the two there, I grabbed one. I'm just so happy I finally got one to add to my collection and compare them to all my other Spider-Man that we have in our collection. Well, in my collection. <laughs> hopefully you're able to find him. If not, hopefully you will get them. If not, then uh, just hopefully they'll restock them and um, everybody will be able to have one in their collection. But let's go ahead and check them out. So we have the uh, illustration of him right here looking cool. The artwork of the Spider-Man series looking awesome. So nostalgic like the old school ways from the 90s. On the back, we have uh, artwork of him. And then how to put the hands together like we don't know already how to put them together but you know what it is what it is thank you hasbro here's the bio of spider-man if you want to read it pause it right now and then here is the upc if anyone's looking for him hopefully i'll get lucky and find him at your walmart and yeah so i want to say he's a walmart exclusive i mean maybe another retailer or another toy shop might end up having them and they do that's actually really cool um i mean everybody should have one you know it's spider-man you gotta have one in your marvel collection so uh, let's go ahead and get him out the package and let's see what he's all about. So here we are with Spider-Man out the box and man, I ain't gonna lie, this dude is cool looking. Even though he has the cell shading on him, I just really dig the colors, the, the vibrant colors he comes with or he has on him, the paint apps. It just looks so cool, it reminds me of the the older figures from the 90s, man, when I was little and uh, just having this cool Spider-Man in my collection and him always, him always winning and everything and all that giddy gadget stuff. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, let's get to his accessories real quick, shall we? So he comes with two, a large and a small web. You can just throw in his opponents, but uh, it's just real, uh, real plain and uh, hard, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's just a really like, it will be cool if he could like cling on and like, kind of be like bendy wire, but of course we couldn't, we can't have that, but uh, so we get this one. Let me get this little small one. So you can see what. Pretty cool. So that's what he comes with. And then he comes with two other sets of hands besides the ones he comes with on. He comes with some game throwing hands. He throws up game signs. I'm just kidding. You know, he's shooting the web switch, shooting the web with his hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then uh, he has these hands for the wall crawling. He does his little. Cool, cool, the details, like we all, he's pretty much almost like the other Spider-Man hands, you know, just matching this color. And then of course, we have this cool Spider-Man. And man, I just, this is such a cool figure. I mean, it could, it could have done without this cell shading, just made him a regular man, but I mean, he, he's, he's a cool looking Spider-Man, I can't, what can I say? His jaw bones looks a little more larger than usual, versus the other ones are a little more thinner. And uh, we're gonna get to comparisons in a little bit with the other ones, but let's go ahead and just do his articulation. So he looks up very, very good. That's freaking awesome. So he reads upside down. He looks down very good. Man, this is a really cool. I think he's on the, what, the ball pick? He showies. So put, pop that back on. And uh, his shoulder movement goes all the way 360. He has butterfly joints. Freaking cool. You can see that. That's actually really cool, guys. Really, really cool. Oh man, that's cool. He's be like, good. <laughs> uh, he has bicep swivel, of course, double jointed elbows, right? Oh, wait, is it? Oh yeah, it is. It just mine's a little tight. I gotta get a uh, hair dryer to it. So it's, he does the double jointed, just real tight on the top upper part. Let me see if this side has it. Yeah, también. He does have a cut though for the elbow. So we just, I don't have to hit, get a hair dryer. And then of course is a wrist swivel with the little hinge. He has a lower torso movement, this one. So he looks down about that much. Like he's like, what are you doing? What's going down there? Or he could be like, whoa, they shoot something like the matrix. His torso, upper torso, it just moves around. I guess it's on a ball peg, a ball joint. So it moves all around, really good. For those that like to have him do the splits. Not bad guys, right? Can no, looks cool. Upper thigh cuts good. Double jointed knees. No pins. A lot of, uh, that's what's, what's up, man. Upper boot cut, nice, nice, all the way around. And then the ankle rocker, and then with his uh, little hinge. 
excuse me. So, looking cool, guys, this is Spider-Man. And I hope everybody is able to get one, man. It's pretty cool just to have this Spider-Man. Even if you don't have the other ones, this is still a cool one to have. Just the colors, man. The They did really good with the lighter blue. It, it looks really light on my camera, but really it's not that, that light. It's a little more darker blue, but not so dark versus the other ones. But let's bring, without further ado, let's introduce the other Spider-Man. So we have, of course, the Pizza Spider-Man. Yes, yes, y'all. And, uh... This is an older figure. I say came out what like 2014, 2015. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comment below if you have the accurate year he was released. But he's the Peach of Spider-Man, and I believe it was the Hobgoblin, like a demonic Hobgoblin. It was the builder figure he came from. And then we have Drum Roll. The first retro Spider-Man, which he came with no bath because he was a retro figure. <laughs> so yeah, so here we go, guys. Three brothers, bro. Híjole. I guess you could put uh, uh, Toby Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and we'll make this one Tom Holland, right? Because he's the younger one, huh? Right? Huh? Huh? But uh, <laughs> but here we go, man. So it's a comparison, you know, like, man, I'm, we should do like a little bit of head swaps, right? Let's see how they look. Let's put on Pizza Man head. It might not fit. Oh, it does fit. But he looks like he has no neck. He's like, hey, hey Bert. Hey, Ernie. So he doesn't look too cool with that. But let's see what the pizza Spider-Man looks like with the new head. Well, obviously it doesn't match the color because the color looks a little... Hold this guy to the side. The pizza Spider-Man actually looks pretty cool with the pizza Spider-Man, the head. Hmm. You could have fooled me, but it actually looks cool. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that looks pretty cool. All right, let's try uh, the retro Spider-Man. Oh my God, this one doesn't want to come off. So we're gonna miss with him because then if we break this one, then that's it. We don't have another one because he's like super expensive now. So we'll switch off this head, put this back on him. And pizza head. Put this one back on him. But you can see that from pizza to him, I mean, the pizza Spider-Man looks more like spectacular Spider-Man, Spider or maybe amazing Spider-Man, right? And this one looks more, of course, like the animated series. But then you bring this Vato in, the retro, this one looks more comic bookish, right? Or, I would say this is more the animated series and this is more the comic book. Of course, completely different uh, webs on him. This one has a lot more crazier webs going all around. I just can't believe it's gonna come off, man. And I don't wanna break it off. So we're not going to miss with him, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Hopefully another collector can get him off better, but I'm not going to compromise my Spider-Man, you know? But we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, I'll find one in the in the wild somewhere. But uh, yeah, so these are the, the three Spider-Man that we have so far in our, in our Marvel Legends. Uh, of course, there's the Amazing Fantasy or Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, the kind of black and red. And then there's a three-pack with the Super Friends. Not Super Friends, but uh, what they call Spider-Man and Friends. And then there's the Renew Your Vows, which I'm probably not gonna get any of those. I don't really care for those. It's just for me, I have these three. I don't need another three more. Then I might have a whole Spider-Man party, which we're not trying to have that here. Uh, we really have uh, enough uh, Deadpools and uh, Iron Mans and Captains, so I'm cool with these for now. And um, let's go ahead and get some of these villains in here, right? Because that's why we're here. Here's the Retro Venom, which is completely, I, I, I was, flabbergasted to hear that he's so sought after i thought he was i mean i picked him up from hasbro pose last year didn't think nothing of it just had on my collection i got that keen symbiote venom and uh, uh which i don't want a three pack from the agony and ryan and I, I i like those a lot more better than this one but i'm not gonna get rid of him now thanks uh, ebay and then i got the carnage from i want to say he's from the green goblin wave it's like a monster green goblin he's like a, on steroids with horns i mean i never seen that before but apparently he's I guess he's in the comic book but uh comment below let me know what you think about that because i'm not too familiar with that guys so uh it's just my little quick review of the cell shading because you see all this you know cell shading right here sorry guys i'm all stuttering like stanley stuttering stanley but uh he has all uh cell shading right here a little bit here pick up his arms he has it all right there which is not bad man i'm not mad about it actually it looks actually it fits and then like the drawing like the cartoonish kind of drawing on the animated series and i I just really dig this Spider-Man. I'm probably gonna use him a lot more in my stop motion. And the other ones are probably gonna retire and put them in the box and just forget about them for years to come. <laughs> so um, I hope you liked the video. If you do, um, hit the like button. 
show some love um, um comment below let me know if you're gonna if you pick them up are you gonna get them if you see them if not are you gonna wait or whatnot or get them get the renew you vials or the other packs are coming out with a bunch of spider-man that are, apparently they're flooding spider-man this year because it's his anniversary but it's okay because he is Mar the face of marvel right i mean to me he's the face of marvel like there's millions and millions of characters but to me when you think of marvel comic you think of the webhead here so um hit the notification bell for more uh content coming out i'll be pumping out more i hope y'all checked out my new stop motion i mean of course they're only like three or four minute videos but it's just i'm having fun with it me and my wife we do the voiceovers and we just really enjoy doing that and um go check out the old videos of the stop motion and show love to those two if you don't mind take care of my peeps and evil out like and subscribe to the evil collector channel and hit the notification bell for more content